Food fight is underway in Pinellas County. A Tarpon Springs couple says they're being unfairly restricted from operating their food truck in that city, while other vendors, restaurants, are allowed to serve food. Eric Waxler is taking a closer look at the business battle that is now headed to court. Elijah Durham got laid off from his chef job during the pandemic, so he and his wife Ashley decided to open up a food truck. They wanted to operate in their hometown of Tarpon Springs. We picked that town because it was a smaller town. We wanted to raise our kids there. State lawmakers had just passed a bill preventing local governments from banning food trucks. The plan was to set up the Soul Burger truck three to four days a week at Brighter Days Brewery. We thought that creating a food truck where we could get locally sourced meat, locally sourced bread, locally sourced produce, and do something that most people aren't doing. It's not just opening a food truck, it's trying to open the best food truck. But shortly after they opened, the city commission passed an ordinance limiting food trucks from operating even on private property in most of the city. Only food trucks owned by restaurants are allowed. The Durhams have been fighting back, and now with the help of the nonprofit Institute for Justice, they are taking Tarpon Springs to court. We do not believe that the city has the right to restrict the success of one business in exchange for the benefit of another. This lawsuit is the result of many, many multiple attempts to have the city help us find common ground and a better working relationship. The Durhams are still in business, but have to leave Tarpon, which they say means more expenses. We reached out to the city of Tarpon Springs for comment. A spokesperson said they were unaware of the lawsuit and wouldn't comment. They did send us a copy of the ordinance. Other cities recognize that food trucks help out downtown areas, including the brick and mortar restaurants. Uh, unfortunately, Tarpon Springs government didn't do its homework. ABC Action News also reached out to the mayor and city commission, but have yet to hear back. The Institute for Justice says they've successfully challenged food truck restrictions in other cities, including Fort Pierce. In Tarpon Springs, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. Today, authorities say new 